Okay, what we're getting ready to do here is we're going to build a soffit above an island. And the island isn't in place, so first we had to measure out where the cabinets were going, then transfer our marks to the ceiling. We're uh, checking the marks now, and we're going to uh, check them for square. And then what we're going to do is to build this out of metal frame. Okay, I know a lot of you have uh, do a lot of metal studs, but we're going to show you how to build the soffit with the metal studs, and then we'll go on from there. Drywall, finishing, and that's it. So right now we've laid it out on the floor, we'll transfer the marks to the ceiling, and uh, checking it all, and we're going to start this in a minute. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the soffit down with the metal 11 and a half inches so it'll finish out at 12 inches off the ceiling. But I'm going to do a little trick here that a lot of people don't do where you have a corner and then you're going to have a soffit and then you're going to have your drywall lined up to go through here and your both corner beads will match up. Okay? Where a lot of people would just put the metal to the wall and then drywall it and then it will wind up being off to this side. But I'm going to do it so that we're able to make the uh, corner beads line up together at the finish. So in order to do that when you're doing with half inch drywall and corner bead, you bring it off the wall 5 eighths of an inch. That will take up the corner bead and the drywall because the corner bead's already on the other one. If you're doing it from the framing, it would have been an inch and a quarter from both framing so that you have the drywall and corner bead on each one. Okay, we put the 5 inch drywall up there. That's going to give us what we need to be able to get the corner bead to line up. So now we're going to go ahead and cut the top track. Already marked it. so that they'll slide in together. We cut this off, cut the tab, slide it through, and then these are going to slide over the end. Okay, now we started putting up the studs. And this end is more free-floating. So we have to put up a brace and clip the ends. Okay, so that we can put in this brace. Kevin, that will go inside the track, and this will go inside the stud. This way? Yeah. Right. right. This way? Yeah. Go up inside yeah. the track. And then you can tack off the one, and then you the other. Yeah, we'll do the same with that. All right, now we have the socket built. We braced it all off, okay? We put in all the studs, put screws in on each side of the stud, but it, it's nice and sturdy, okay? Our next step is we're gonna uh, run the electrical boxes for the lights. Don't forget to subscribe and give a comment. I would enjoy reading your comments. It will help me to put uh, more things up if you're interested. And this is Building with Papa. See you in the next one.